So how many networks and hosts can be supported in class A, B, and C? Okay. So there are two two parts of the IP address. One is your network address, and one is your host address. Okay. And so if you're talking about IPv4, that is a 32 bit. And in class A, the first eight bit can be used for the network network part, and remaining will be used for the host. And the first bit of the eight bits that is zero. So that is to denote the class A and remaining seven bit can be used for the to denote the how many networks can be supported. And again, there are two remaining. So one is one can be used for default route and loop back. So basically 126 network can be supported. And how many hosts can be supported? So two to the power 24 minus two. So from where the two comes? So one can be used for the broadcast address and one is again can be used for the network. Now when you talk about the class B, so in class B there are 16 bit can be used for the network address and remaining 16 bit can be used for the host address. Okay. So in the first bit of the of the 8 bits or first two bits of the 8 bit that is 10 that can be that cannot be used because you know that is a 10 that is a fixed. So 16 bit, so 16 minus 2 that is 14 bit can be used for the network. So 2 to the power 14 network can be supported. Now how many hosts can be there? So how many how many how many bits can be used to denote the host part? That is a 16 bit. Right? So 2 to the power 16 is the possible host. But again, so two address we cannot use. One is one can be used for the or one must be used for the network and one is for the broadcast. So 2 to the power 16 minus 2 host per network. And in class C, there are total 24 bits for the for the network address, right? And remaining 8 bit can be used for the host address. And the first 3 bit can be used to denote what is the class. So that means 24 minus 3. So 21 bit can be used to denote how many networks can be supported. So 2 to the power 21 networks can be supported and how many hosts can be supported per network so that is 2 to the power 8 minus minus 2 okay and so 2 again similar to the previous one so one can be used for the broadcast and one can be used for the network so here's a general conclusion is that for example a b and c so a has a highest number of hosts per network and C is basically that number of network is very large compared to all these three different classes.